welcome back to Maya Makes. I'm Maya, and today I'm going to be painting this sweatshirt. It is a brand new design, and I am so excited to be giving this one away at the end of the video. It's the only one of its kind, so make sure you enter. I will be telling y'all how you can win at the end of this video, so stick around. I started off by tracing the designs off of my iPad. I zoomed in to make them the size that I wanted. And then I used this little cutter thing to cut them out of cardboard so that I could use them as stencils onto the sweatshirt. I used this fabric pen to trace it. It was really cool because it's erasable and you don't have to wash it, it just kind of disappears over time. But I did have a hard time working on this over a few days because they kept disappearing so I had to keep drawing them over. This was probably my favorite part of doing this, the blending of the fire colors. It was really fun and I like the way that the brightness turned out. Super cool. For this new design I wanted to make something more graphic and bold so I started with the knives on the sleeves and then I made them bigger and whenever I animate flames from my videos I really like how it turns out so I decided to incorporate it into the design. I think the fire in the bowl is super perfect because it can represent hot soup, spicy foods, and all the fire that we serve here on Maya Mix. Some of y'all may have noticed that I didn't post a video on Thursday since I'm going to be in the process of moving to California and then into a new apartment over the next month or so. I'll be posting videos on Mondays only. I am really excited to be moving back though because I'll have whole space of my own to design exactly how I want. When I get to that point, y'all can expect a lot of furniture painting and other apartment things videos. I'm also going to be working part time at my mom's fermentation business where I'll get to make miso, sell at farmers markets, which I love, and finally spend a lot of time with my mom. She's honestly one of my best friends, but for as long as I can remember, I've always been really preoccupied and haven't been able to do things together very often, but now we're going to be working together on something that we're both passionate about and I can't wait because I know that it's going to be super fun. This design, I was kind of just winging it a lot of the time just because it was my first design. You can see that I have some sketches drawn out with some color palettes and I was kind of just trying to follow those. Also kind of making it up as I went. This blending and all the outlining took a really, really long time and I was barely even able to upload all this footage onto my iPad. It honestly took probably more than a full day. <laughs> I wanted to incorporate more psychedelic colors into these designs. I really like that style of art and I've kind of tried to get into it before but it's really difficult especially with the animation to be doing that because I'm kind of just learning how to do animated designs so it's easier to make them bubbly which I do like the bubbly cute aesthetic. I'm kind of trying to figure out how to combine them so that's kind of what the sweatshirt is about. The letters took so many layers because I wanted to make them look really 3D. So I put so many layers of highlights ranging from yellow to white. But I really like the way the outcome came out. It was pretty much exactly what I wanted. They kind of look like balloons, bubble balloons. You know those ones that people get for their birthdays? I feel like it kind of looks like those. You know what I mean? For 
my next video, I was thinking about doing a video in Portland because all the videos I make are in the house and before I move, I kind of want to make a video of the city that I can look back on just because I've never really lived in a city and I'm going to go back to living in a smaller town, so it might be cool to make a Portland video, like some of the things I'm going to miss or something. Definitely the food. <laughs> Surprise! Always think about food. These little details where I get to make the flicks at the ends of the fire are super fun. I don't know why, but fire is just so fun for me to draw. Do you guys like drawing fire? I used to draw fire all over my classwork as a kid. I remember that. Just flames. My way of burning it while I did it diligently. <laughs> I really like the pink on the ends of the flames. I think it looks exactly how I want it to pop out. I was originally just planning on doing the yellow and blue. And then I was like, mmm, the pink makes it bam, you know? <laughs> So if y'all are trying to enter this giveaway, just make sure you enter by Saturday at midnight. And I will be announcing the videos next week on Monday. The winners are randomly chosen. I've had people message me asking me to choose them and Unfortunately, even though I like y'all reaching out to me, that will not increase your chances of winning. It is done by random comment picker, but I do wish y'all all good luck. I really do like the way that this design turned out and I want to make more of them. However, it was extremely time consuming to make. So I'm thinking about changing over to iron transfers. It's something that I've done for fun before, but the colors turn out less vibrant. So I'm wondering if there's a way to print them in artist ink so they're more vivid and then put them on the sweatshirts and see how that turns out. Because now I do all of my art digital so it would be easy to turn it around and iron it on. And I think that the colors would be more vibrant if they're straight off the computer too. Because I used to scan my drawings and then they would just turn out a little bit faded looking, which was I, I was fine with, but for these designs I want them to be really, really bold and vibrant. But if that is the way I end up going, it will be super easy to get these out to y'all. Well, not super easy, but much, much easier than this. It'll take literally a fraction of the time. So then I could put out way more on Etsy and I could make them more affordable. I really, really love the way that this one turned out though. The hand painting makes it easy to make the designs look exactly how I want them. It turned out super vibrant and beautiful. I love the colors and my favorite, favorite part is that fire knife. I love the bigger knife and oh my god. I love this sweatshirt so much. I honestly want to keep it, but I'm giving it out. I'm giving it out to y'all. This sweatshirt came out super dope. Look at it. Oh my god. I love it so much. I don't know if you can see the back. But 
it honestly might be one of my favorite sweatshirts I've made so far. So yeah. Good luck to y'all, and I hope you win. Somebody's gonna win. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. To enter to win this sweatshirt, all you have to do is comment the word sweatshirt below and subscribe to my channel. That's all. I will be announcing the winner in next week's video, which will be on Monday. I'm going to be only posting videos on Mondays for a little while, so make sure you watch out for those. And I'll see you next time on Maya Makes.